name is Sharia Walters. Welcome to my YouTube channel, a place where we talk about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If those are topics that interest you or that you care to hear more about, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you're notified of videos as I post them. And I hope to be posting weekly. So a few weeks ago, I went to the mall. I just happened upon the mall. I am um, a recovering shopaholic, but I am still shopping a little bit. And so anyway, I happened upon the mall and I went to Anthropology and I wanted to just show you a few things that I purchased and how I would style them. I'll talk about what um, led me to pick up these items and I will say that they were all on sale and um, later on in the video you'll see how I style them. So the first item is this jacquard gold dress. It's like a mustard color. Um, it is a mini dress. It comes with a little belt. Um, you could of course choose to wear it with this belt or however else you choose to style it. And the back is open. You'll see that um, how it flows on me when I put it on. The next item is this um, camel color sweater. Um, I, it's, it's different. I don't have anything in my closet like it. It, um, it was on sale for probably about $25 because I think it was 50% off. Um, it's something cute that you could wear. It probably won't keep you very warm, but you could layer it. Layer it um, and yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. Again, not something that I have in my closet. The next item was this skirt. It's a really pretty purple pewter color. Um, and you can see it has this sort of checkered. It's a mini skirt. Um, and I just thought it would be fun, sort of like whimsical. I like the ruffles in it, so again, something that I figured, hey, why not? It's also something different to what I have in my closet. And I also, the fourth item that I purchased, the fourth clothing item I purchased, are these leggings. I thought they were sort of different, checkered again, um, not something I have in my closet. I figured, you know, mix it up a little bit. Do something fun. Um, yeah. And then the last item was something that I thought was kind of dainty. Oh, uh, the last clothing, clothing item I would say. Something kind of dainty. It has petals. I thought it was sort of like princessy. Um, definitely the type of thing I tend to gravitate towards, but I'm going to try to go outside of my comfort zone a little bit in the future. But yeah, I thought this was just something kind of fun, whimsical, and cute. And then the last item that I purchased, not a clothing item, is this candle. I love candles. Those of you who know me will know that I love candles. This one is by the brand, I think, Volupsa. And um, it retails for $34. I think I probably got it for $24. The fragrance is bougie. Oh, actually, no, that's not. The fragrance is, actually, I don't know what the fragrance is. I'll put it up on the screen um, so you'll see what it is, but... I love, I'm a sucker for packaging. It's a nice iridescent blue, kind of like ombre packaging. The cover is gold. Uh, it just smells so heavenly, so deep, like island feeling. I am from the islands. Those of you who know me or those of you who are getting to know me, I am from the islands. So it sort of like reminds me about the, reminds me of the ocean. So yeah, I love it. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below what is your favorite candle and the candle brands that you like. Please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and um so stay tuned you'll see how i style the items and i'll tell you what i'm wearing right now what i have on is a dress by some designers out of the uk they the website is brassfields i will put a link to it in the box below i love this dress because it has pockets of course the length is great too if you want to wear a maxi dress um i'm about five six and a half so if you are a little bit on the shorter side you will likely need to get it hemmed and I have on some Kelsey black patent leather pumps so again this is from Grassfield some designers out of the UK and the other thing I love about the dress in addition to the pockets is there's some it has a zipper on the back so you know you have that mock turtleneck look so again yep I love this dress love the print and that's what I'm wearing. So this is a yellow mustard dress. 
um, from Anthropology. I love the peephole in the front. I love the balloon sleeves. As you can see, it has balloon sleeves. They have buttons on either end of the sleeves. I love the jacquard print. If you don't want to wear with the yellow um, belt that it comes with, you could, it's a crop belt, of course, same print. You could choose to wear with a different belt, maybe a chunky belt. Um, the bag is by Judith Lieber. Um, and the shoes you would have seen in, a, in the picture before is, um, I'll actually link, put the link to the shoes. And the back of the dress has a deep V. So again, you can show a little bit of back without being showing too much back. Again, love this dress. I love the color. Love the mustard color. I don't have anything like it in my in my um, closet. And I love the fact that it has pockets. Actually, I didn't even realize when I purchased it that it had pockets. Two pockets on either side, right here. Love the pockets. Um, and if it's a little too short for you, you could choose to wear it with um, leggings or something. Or I guess if you still wear hose, you could wear it with hose as well. Something probably plain that doesn't crash with the um, print of the dress. Again, love this dress by Anthropology. So I love this sweater. It is soft. I like that it's cropped and if you don't want to show too much skin, for those of you who are a little more conscious about that, you can wear it with some high-waisted jeans. The jeans I have here are by BCBG. They're high-waisted and they're boot cut. I have them on with some Michaels, I think, booties. Again, um, love this sweater. I love that it's soft. You know, sometimes I, I don't like wool. Or I, I think I'm allergic to wool or wool just makes me itch. I don't know if you have that problem. Leave a comment in the section below if you do. Love this sweater. I love the color. I love that it's soft. And if you have like a bralette or like a lace bra or something and you want to wear it with a lace bra, you could do that as well. Here I'm wearing it with a strapless bra. Love the V. So it's, I love that it, you know, highlights that part of your chest, part of your body. Again, love this sweater. So what I love about this skirt is kind of like whimsical and fun. I love the print, love the ruffles. I have it here styled with a white button down. You could style it with a black um, button down or a black blouse. Um, here again, this white blouse, I think it's from the limited. It's actually pretty old, but again, love the ruffles, love the different tiers. In the back, you can see it's similar, similar ruffles. Again, the print is unique to me, at least unique to my closet. The plaid is also makes it unique. The colors in it are like a camel color, a pink, red, um, magenta color as well. Um, of course, you know, you can see some there's some white stitching. So you could wear it in addition to wearing it with white as I've done here. You could wear it with any of the other colors that are in the skirt to bring out one of those colors. Actually, with red might be a little bit daring and fun and interesting. But yeah, you could choose to style it however you want. Again, style is about what you like, what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel chic, unique, and cute. All right, this is a ruffled, blouse, ruffled skirt from Anthropology. these leggings is the print. It's unique again from my closet. It has two back pockets you can see here. The pockets on the side are, the front two sides are like full pockets. They're not really pockets, but I guess they look like pockets. I love the print. It's a brown checkered. I have it here styled with um, White House Black Market velvet dress. I mean velvet jacket, not a dress. Velvet jacket and um, the top it's a crop top I have underneath. It's from Forever 21. It's actually old. The jacket is kind of old too. Again, something fun. If you want to be a little bit daring, you probably could wear it like this. If not, you could wear it with a solid color black top or white top or ivory color top. Again, the leggings were different. 
and you need kind of like, you know, I feel like a NASCAR girl driver, like I should be working in NASCAR or get a job or something. Anyway, this is the leggings, these leggings. is how fun and whimsical it is. It um, has an overlay and there's a skirt you can see at the bottom. I mean underneath I should say. I love it, it has black petals which makes it pretty unique to something in my closet. The waistband is elastic so it has some room for some give. The back is the same design. I love the color. Um, you could choose to wear this with maybe a white collar top if you want. Um, I will say the one thing to note with the skirt though is that if it's close to something that's silk, it'll catch to it. So um, just make a note, just be mindful of that. Um, otherwise, it's, it's actually pretty fun. Love the skirt. So let me know. I'm actually going to say this again, but let me know which outfit is your favorite, whether it's this or any of the other outfits you saw before. So again, thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you for hopefully liking, comment, subscribing, and if you haven't done so yet, please feel free to do so. Also turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified of my next video. And in the comment section below, again, also I would love to hear from you what your favorite outfit was and how you would style it if you would style it differently. Again, thank you for stopping and I look forward to seeing you next time.